Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and this is Life with Taylor. If my little background looks different, that's because I'm at my parents' house. I'm actually house sitting for them for the weekend. And this is Pepper. This is one of their two dogs. Say hello, Peppa. So, in this video today, I'm going to be doing another haul, this time from Shein. This is my first time ordering from Shein, so let's get into it. First up is this green two-piece set. It was listed on the website as being picked out by Katy Perry. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but it definitely looks like something she would wear. I bought this in a size 2X. You can't see it on camera, but it has a daisy floral pattern. This skirt has an elastic waistband with a very high slit, which I love. The material is very light and thin, which is nice for the summertime. It's very comfortable and very cute. Next, I have another drape neck satin cami. I bought one of these from a different store in a previous video, but I like this one a lot better. The drape in the front is more dramatic and overall the torso of the cami is longer than the previous one I bought. I got this in a 3X and it comes in a bunch of different colors. Up next are these denim shorts with this embroidered pattern on the front. The website lists the design as being a tribal print, but it just reminded me of the 90s. I got these shorts in a size 3X and they fit pretty well everywhere except in the thigh area. It's a little tight, but bearable. They fit very comfortably everywhere else and I just think the pattern in the front is so cool and unique. I cannot wait to wear these. Next, I got this sweatshirt, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed in this one. This was the piece I was most excited about. I love sweatshirts, and I love the saying on the front, rolling with the homies. It reminds me of the movie Clueless. All right, Sherry, can you do this? Rolling with the homies. Rolling with the homies. Yeah, okay, let's do it, you ready? I love the color, and I love the stitching. However, it just felt way too small. It didn't fit the way I like my sweatshirts to fit. I got this one in a 2X, but it fit more like an extra large. I probably needed to get this one in a 4X in order to have it fit the way I want it to. I'm still gonna keep it though, because I feel like I can make it work. Even though it's really short, it's not unwearable. Here's a close up of the stitching on the front. I really love the color, and again, the saying is so cute, so it's gonna stay. Rolling with Next, we have this knit tank top. I got this in a size 2X. I got this in the color khaki, but it does come in a few other neutral tones. I got this to wear on the beach. I'm not sure why, but it just gives me beach vibes. The knitting is a lot better quality than I was expecting. It's very comfortable and not itchy like some other knittings can be sometimes. And I love the distressed detail at the bottom. Overall, I think this is a good piece. Next up, we have this navy and white striped belted romper. I wasn't feeling this one at all. The top of the romper has this button to keep it closed, but when I button it, it makes the stripes look weird and curved. Then when I unbutton it, you can see the button on the side, and I'm just not feeling how it looks open. The bottom of the romper is by far the worst part. The legs and the shorts do this pleating thing, which would be cute if it was a solid color, but because there are stripes, the lines of the stripes begin to curve, and it's so unflattering. All the stripes on my stomach area are straight up and down, but then when you get to the thigh area, the lines are kind of curved, and it just looks weird. Again, if it was a solid color, I think it would be okay, but it's just the stripes. Maybe I'm in my head. Comment down below if you think this looks weird or if I'm tripping. Moving on to a better romper. I got this leopard print romper in a size 3X. It also comes in a few different animal patterns. It has a tie in the front and a cutout in the stomach. It also has these really nice bell sleeves. It fits everywhere comfortably, but I do have some extra space in the shoulder collar area, but it's not that noticeable when I'm wearing it. This is probably my favorite piece in the whole haul, and I can't wait to wear this one 10 out of 10. Last but not least is this ruffle bikini. I don't think I've ever worn a bikini in my whole life, so 
This is me stepping out of my comfort zone. I got this one in a 2X. The bottoms fit perfectly, but I could have used a size up in the top, but it's okay. So I love the color of this bikini, but my favorite part is the ruffle skirt around the bottom. I think that makes it the perfect first time bikini because it helps me hide some of the things I'm a little insecure about. The only thing I'm kind of iffy about with this one is the material. It doesn't feel like that typical swimsuit material. So I don't know if you guys can see up close, but it actually has that ribbed texture. So with this material and the ribbed texture, I'm not sure how it would hold up in water, but I guess we'll find out. All right, you guys, that has been the end of this haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.